Hello everyone, it's Christine Stitch All The Things. Welcome to my channel today. If you're new, thank you so much for trying out my video, seeing if there's something that you'll enjoy. And if you're returning, thank you so much for stopping back in, spending some time with me today. I know time is super valuable and even more so during the busy holiday season. So if you're here today, thank you so much. Um, today is Tuesday, December 8th. I think it's the 8th. Uh, let me double check really fast. Yes, I didn't record yesterday. Yesterday I ended up having to go to an appointment that took up pretty much most of my morning, early afternoon. And then when I got home, I had to get all of the baking I had done over the weekend packaged and ready to ship out. Two packages went out yesterday to our family. Um, and I have a package lost in the mail from Christmas in Prescott. I get my old world Christmas ornaments from them every year uh, and it's missing and it definitely should have been here by yesterday so I could send out my kids' package to them with fresh baked goodies and their ornament for the year and no ornament. It's still lost. It's been lost in the mail since December 2nd when it reached Phoenix. No clue where it is. And so now I may have to bake again fresh goodies for them. Um, I actually just stuck their cookies and things in the freezer. <laughs> and I hope that when they thaw out, they'll be okay. But yeah, so uh, that was yesterday. I barely made it to the post office in time before they closed to get two of our packages out. Um, but those are out. And um, I got some mail yesterday and I've done some stitching. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. Um, first, let's go with the stitching. Uh, I've been working on Glendon Place's Flowers of the Holy Night, and the last I shared with you, I had um, this this half, the this poinsettia, um, the half of this one, and this corner done, and then I only had two petals here of this top one finished, and this is where I am now. I worked Sunday night. Sunday afternoon, I finished my work around 3 o'clock, my baking and stuff, and I sat down to stitch, and I got quite a bit done. So I got all of these petals done, and these these things, uh, not these two. These two petals were already done. But this leaf and this leaf and then these three petals is hard for me because I have to work backwards from what I'm seeing on the camera. Those got finished on Sunday night, and then last night, I didn't have a whole lot of stitching time, but I got the darker parts of those two petals done. So tonight, I will fill those in and finish the third petal, and then I'm gonna start working on the greenery, greenery here for page three, the top of this row. I'm really excited to have gotten that far. So yeah, my goal for the week is just to keep stitching away as much as I can in the evenings to get that top half finished. Um, that's my goal. It's an ambitious goal given uh, that I haven't had a lot of stitchy time in the evenings to get the entire top half finished, but I'm, I'm going to just keep working away at it. Um, okay, mail. That's it for stitching. Uh, sewing is kind of on hold. I actually have a project up here on my table, but that secret sewing, I have to get that done today and tomorrow. Uh, it may take three days, um, but other than that, uh, like... I'm just taking each day at a time and and figuring out what needs to be done that day. You guys know how the holidays are. Um, so let me show you what I got in the mail. Pink Door Fabrics was um, having a like a 12 or 12 days of Christmas, some sort of Christmas event. And one of the days they had um, the Alice in Glass Sunprint 2020 bundle on sale for 20% off. And so I got that and I love these fabrics. And can you see why stitchers? Oh, it's upside down. Yeah, cross stitch fabric. What? I'm, I'm gonna kind of open this bundle up. I don't like to up, open my bundles till I'm gonna use them because they're so pretty, but I'm just gonna be careful and just take off this one side because not only is there like cross stitch print, then there's an embroidery type print over here. You know? I just, ah, I love it so much. And then there's just all sorts of different colors, prints. Oh, the fun, the fun of this. <sighs> so excited. 
And then of course, the rainbow bundle, right? Right up my alley, right up my alley. As you will see in a minute, as this is my favorite shelves over here is my rainbow. These are actually my favorites because this tulip pink fabric, but the colorful rainbow stuff over here, that's my jam, as uh, Elena B. would say. That's my jam. I didn't know that was a cool term to say until Elena B. said it. And now it's probably like over, you know, like, like if Callie was here, she'd be like, Mom, we don't say that anymore. <laughs> um, the other thing I got was... Some of you may remember back early in summer, I ordered a fat quarter bundle. I think I shared this. If I didn't, I'm going to share it right now briefly. I ordered a fat quarter bundle of the True Colors, the new True Colors line from Tula Pink. And it, I happened to order it off Etsy from a scam artist because they never set, sent the fabric. Um, I immediately got my, my money back from Etsy, uh, but then Fat Quarter Shop had this on sale. It's like a hundred and I want to say either 35 or $45 and I got it for a hundred and one dollars. So I went ahead and bought the fat quarter bundle uh, because I've been wanting it and this is like the lowest price I'm, I'm ever going to see it for. So yeah, rainbow colors, right? Look at how well these two bundles go together. These prints here are more saturated than these, but still the same colors, the so, same rainbowy colors. I love it. Okay, what else did I get in the mail besides fabric? Um, some of you may remember my Impulse Facebook ad purchase of the Adornit Gnomes embroidery thing. So I got the December one in. And uh, the December one's cute. I can't not like that. Uh, everyone that's come in is cute. I just need to find time to stitch these along with all my other things. So they put it on a pre-printed thing, but uh, I, I'm not going to stitch it on this. I, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to draw this um, on fabric, use my light box, and then trace, transfer it, trace it, and then just do that. That way I don't have to stitch through sticky glue paper. That doesn't sound appealing at all. And one of you, I think it was Becca, had s shared your experience and and related that it was not pleasant to stitch through that and when I read your comment I was like oh yeah that doesn't sound good at all so instead of what this paper is it's like a soluble water soluble paper so you just stick this paper onto your fabric and you stitch through this in your fabric and then you wash it and the water soluble paper comes off um, and then you didn't have to do the work of tracing but can you imagine pulling your needle and thread through sticky paper? That doesn't sound pleasant at all. Um, I, I ordered some backing fabric for my home sweet home quilt from Buttermilk Basin and it arrived yesterday and it's the right print name but the wrong color. I ordered it in parchment. Three yards of red. So I have to send an email and let them know and then see how we go about that, uh, about exchanging that for the correct fabric. Oh, I forgot. The other thing I ordered from um, Fat Quarter Shop were th these little alpha bitties. You take these and then like when you're quilting and you have different, um, different pieces and you're doing a lot of you know, a lot of different piecing or your rows and, and you don't want to um, lose your place within your sewing. Uh, you just take these and you just clip them with like some clover clips to your pieces. I had gotten a set of these. I'm not sure if they're here from the quarter shop, fat quarter shop, except they were in the, I don't know what I did with them. They must be in my other drawers. They were in the double letters, and and that was just sort of, it was like an expansion pack. So I was like, well, I want the original pack. So I went ahead and ordered these because I had ordered the Fat Quarter Bundle, and then they sent me a free little hand sanitizer with my order. That was cool. Thank you. Um, so that's it. That's it for today. That was it for my stitching for the weekend, what I did over the weekend, my mail. That was kind of a lot for one day. Um, I ordered all that stuff over like Black Friday, 
uh, week and Cyber Monday stuff. And so it all just came in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead now and read uh, from A Year of Positive Thinking. If you're new, every day that I record, I read that day's quote out of this book. And since I forgot to record yesterday and Monday's quote is short, I'm going to read Monday the 8th, uh, 7th. Oh no, Monday's isn't quite short, but it's good. So I'm going to read Monday the 7th and today the 8th right now. December 7th, make mistakes. Make mistakes often. They will teach you who you are. Be willing to do things wrong in an effort how to learn in an effort to learn how to do them differently. Mistakes encourage you to grow and make you resilient. They will allow you to become better, stronger, and wiser. Have perspective. Ask yourself this question. Will anyone get hurt if this doesn't work out? If the answer is no, explore what you want to do and be willing to get it wrong. Not being afraid to make mistakes will give you a lifetime of of adventure and invaluable lessons. Try, fail, try again, dust off, and thrive. And December 8th, trust yourself. Listen to the advice of others, but also trust yourself. Your intuition is your inner compass. It will point you in the right direction. Surrender to what your heart knows, even when others disagree. Your instincts are usually accurate when you nurture them. Okay, so that's it for today. I will check in with you tomorrow and show you my progress on Flowers of the Holy Night. See you then. Bye. Hello, everyone. Today is Wednesday, December 9th, and just a real quick video today to share my stitching from last night. Uh, I did finish that middle, uh, top middle poinsettia. So now I have like one, two, and you can't see it, but you can see it from the back. Two and a half of the eight little mini poinsettias done around. Um, yeah, got a ways to go. And half of the big one. But uh, I'm excited because tonight, uh, to finish up page two here, there's the tips of uh, these two. Just the tips of these two petals are on page two. And half of this, this uh, green... Uh, motif right there uh, needs to be finished half of this green motif and then I've got these two little leaves these two things to stitch up here um, and then page two is done so I'm excited making some progress I was really tired didn't really want to stitch too much yesterday we ended up having to go to Bullhead City I needed to pick up flex foam um, our Hobby Lobby doesn't sell it um, and I like the sewing. I don't like fusible foam interfacing. It's terrible. Um, and Walmart doesn't have it. Like our Walmart fabric section is like down to nothing. And then uh, the only place was Bullhead City, which is like an hour and 20 to 30 minutes away, depending on traffic. So an hour and a half up there, pick up four yards of this and then bring it back home. Normally, uh, I have a whole bolt of this on hand for when I sew bags, and I didn't realize I was out, so I have to order some of that, but I need it to, I'm going to be making a gift out of this bag, um, and I'll, I'll show you that once uh, um, the, uh, I don't think the person watches my video, it's a family member. I don't think so. I'll show you at the end of this video. Um, I did get some Christmas cards in the mail, so thank you so much. I'm going to show those really quick. This was from Audrey, Stitchy Witch 42. Love it. Um, I received a card from Nancy. So, Nancy, thank you so much for your Christmas card. I love them. I, I, one of the things I ended up having to do, and I had forgotten about it, was get Christmas cards printed. So I got them. I have them. And I'm so busy during the day, the only time I have to to write out or even type out the addresses is in the evening, and last night I chose to stitch. <laughs> so I'm hoping to get those out by this weekend. So my holiday cards may be coming out late this year, but they're coming. Um, <clears throat> and then I got a card from Lolly, uh, Lollipop Stitches, and she sent me her favorite DMC color, which is very, very close to mine 3808 I love this color so much it is a gorgeous teal 
Um, mine, it's, it's 3810. So hers is just one shade darker. Oh no, hers is 3808. I said 09. Uh, maybe mine's 3809. I don't know. I don't have them, but this color family, my favorite DMC flosses. So I was really excited to get that. Love the blue greens. And speaking of Colette, the highway stitcher sent me a sweet card and a gorgeous Threadworks floss in a beautiful, beautiful blue green. I, I'm really terrible with colors. Uh, when I go to say colors, like I mix up peacock and mint and seafoam green and mix those colors up all the time but that's really true to color right there and so you call that whatever you want i love it love it so thank you all for your cards i'll be just putting them up here as i can as i have room and hope i don't every time i walk in blow them over because that happens a lot okay so today's quote for december 9th is celebrate all the things I love that. All the things, right? Let's do all the things. Celebrate all the things. Life is short. Celebrate everything. The small stuff matters just as much as the big stuff. Celebrate all of it often. That's my kind of quote. All right. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to check in with you tomorrow. See how much further we get on flowers of the holy night. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I'll have to show you tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye. Hello everyone. Today is Friday, December 11th. I didn't record yesterday. I was working on my bag all day, uh, worked real late on it into the evening, and then I, I just didn't have time. Um, I actually finished the bag last night and hated, hated the finishing method because I decided to do this bag with a drop-in lining, which means you just drop in the lining, fold over the lining edge, and the the outside edge and sew them together and it just the top edge just was way too funky so I had to rip it all out take it apart open up the bottom and then do it the correct way this morning and so I have a finished bag to share um, but first I'm going to show you the stitching I didn't have time to stitch last night but I did stitch on Wednesday night and so I added in the all this this and these two things. Um, Wednesday night I was real tired and I started stitching and I ended up like falling asleep on the couch for an hour, waking up and then finish stitching these three. <laughs> I have not done that in a really long time. Um, so I just, tonight, now that my bag is done, I'm really hoping to at least get this corner spray done here, these two leaves. Those are beads right there, yeah beads here and over here um, but I just want to do these two leaves hopefully tonight that's going to be a bit of stitching that's more stitching than it looks like um, and and then over the weekend uh, finish the greenery down the side here and then get started on the flower um, so yeah I, I'm just plugging away at that as I can I just the holidays, you know, time just seems to go by really fast, especially when you end up waiting till the last minute to do a project. Um, okay, so uh, if Brad's daughter-in-law, my good friend, Jill, is watching, you need to stop right now because I'm going to show you your present. I don't think she watches my channel, but she's a quiet one. And so she totally could, and I would never know. So Jill, if you are, don't ruin your present. All right, so this is the bag. I finished it. Um, it turned out really great, a lot better than I expected. So here's a little front pocket. Um, this is a pocket that's called for in the pattern. The side pockets are not, but I added side. Jill loves pockets. I love pockets too. So I added side pockets. Um, and then I added this slit pocket on the back that's got a magnetic closure. Um, and then it's got a, a zippered, inset zipper panel. Um, and then I, this is funny, I ran out of my zipper ends, I didn't have any. So I took a strap end and used it instead. And, and it, it holds really well. Like I really tried to tug it apart because there's a bit of space in there. Um, and I tried to tug it apart and I couldn't. So I thought that should work. So 
that looks that looks good and then I didn't have to sew on and then of course I use my little zipper hardware um, and that's what this is too I got I get it from Emmeline bags in Canada she's a shop and sells you know bag hardware or whatnot and so then when you open it up there's uh, four slip pockets in there two on each side but I decided to at the last minute because I also like an interior zipper pocket this isn't part of the pattern I added this 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 too so um yeah just the same and it's kind of uh, because the zipper I did it on purpose made it look the same color so it doesn't really stand out so it's kind of like a and the zipper part is hidden under this panel you have to lift it up so you don't really know it's there it's like a secret zipper pocket um, but yeah this is a really nice roomy bag I love it uh, the one thing I did this time that I normally don't do is I sewed the bag lining shut I usually do it by hand but I'm running out of time and I was just like it's fine Jill won't even care Jill is the kind that when she gets this bag she is just gonna be so happy that she got a bag oh and purse feet of course um, and she loves my bags and she doesn't care about any little mistakes or anything like that. She does not care at all. She just loves them. Um, and I usually get some people that ask, do I sell these bags? No. Um, the Once that you factor in the cost of materials, which is usually between $75 to $100, um, I would have to charge $300 to, for a bag. And no, like go buy a designer bag. <laughs> Don't buy my bag. So no, uh, there's just a lot of work and then you, to make it worth my time, my effort, I mean, it, I have to charge an outrageous amount and I'm not about that. So I, when I make bags, I make them for myself or to give away. Um, other than the little project packs, which I've got to get back to, I keep saying that and just things come up that I am not planning and I have to deal with those. Okay, so that's what I worked on this week those are that's it um so let me read i'm done <laughs> i don't have any mail to share um so let me read a, the quotes from thursday which was the 10th and today the 11th i should have started with thursday's quote at the beginning you are imperfectly perfect accepting your shadows is just as important as accepting your light you are both this and that angry and happy joyful and sad perfect and imperfect. Accepting all of who you are without judgment and condition may just be the truest form of love you'll ever experience. What do you think when you look in the mirror? What do you tell yourself about your perceived imperfections? Are you accepting a, of all of who you are or do you place conditions on yourself such as when I lose or gain five more pounds I'll be or if I could if only I could change this one thing. Notice the expectations that you set for yourself and how they make you feel. And for December 11th, a mantra for happiness. Happiness is a choice, but it's easy to forget that when life gets in the way. Repeat these simple words to yourself as often as you need to. Even among the craziness of life, my life is pretty darn sweet. I choose to be happy. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, tomorrow I'll be back to wrap up this video and do the giveaways. Um, so I'll see you then. Bye. Hello everyone. It's uh, Saturday, December 12th and the boys just got groomed today. <laughs> and so I wanted to show them to you um, uh, since they got their hair cut. Okay, but it's really hard to hold up two at once and Whiskey is super excited right now. Um, so here's Whiskey, he's got his hair cut. Our groomer, she's the sweetest. Um, we, ha we took uh, our previous pets to her and we just love her to death. She is like, she's, she's our dog's person. You know what I mean? She's their people. Um, and, and so she always, um, like we'll put on a little bow tie on him or this time it, in this case, a, a Christmas handkerchief. And um, she always takes like portraits of them, like studio portraits. I'll have them up because they're adorable. But uh, this is Whiskey this week. He's all nicely, nicely haircut, got his nice little haircut. You can even see more of his brown uh, when his fur grows out. You don't see a lot of this, uh, but yeah.
So I know he's going to want down. Thank you for being up here, babies. Okay. And then here's Cooper. Cooper has been patiently sitting in my lap. Um, he still has a bit of his mohawk, of course. That's never going away, and I love everything about it. Um, and right now he's a little, he just wants loves. He, um, when he got back, he was just exhausted, and he went right to sleep. But, um, so he's all, he's all groomed and cut, too. And my favorite, one of my other favorite things is he's got the floofiest tail. He's not showing it right now. His tail's down. He's, he's unhappy. I'll let him sit in my lap for, okay, for a little bit. He may went down with his brother. They were, uh, I took their handkerchiefs off for a while because it became the toy with which they were dragging each other around the living room. Boy, howdy. I went with red lips today. Like I tried a new red lipstick and it is red. I walked out and the mister was like, whoa, ruby red. Um, and just because some people get curious when you find a decent red, um, this is, uh, I just got this, it's a Maybelline, oops, Superstay Matte Ink, my hands are shaky today, today. Uh, in number 20, Pioneer, and yeah, it's right, I like to try to find a blue red, but this is just like a, a red that's right on the border of blue and orange, just like a true red, it's, and I don't normally wear like red red, because it's just like pow, high lips, okay, let's get on with the day, enough with the dogs, Cooper seems okay now, so I'm going to let them go play. All right, last night, after I got that bag done, packaged up, mailed off, um, I, I did Christmas cards, finally, yesterday. And I had only ordered 60, and turned out I needed like 80, so I had to go place another order, and I just do it through Walgreens. Picked him up this morning, finished up my Christmas cards. So I spent a lot of the evening doing that and not stitching like I hoped, but they're done. So that means this weekend I can stitch. So and that's all I got done on the corner. I'm sorry, I know it's so, it can be so disappointing to be like, gosh, I thought you were gonna stitch more. I get disappointed too. And then it's like, you know, sometimes, oops, I put that too far away. Life just, life is life and it happens, right? So that's it for my stitching. Um, so that's all I have to share today. Um, although one of you, and I, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name, asked me about the bins, how I wrapped or how I did fabric, different fabric on my Ikea bins. Okay, I just pin it on. So I grabbed a bin to show you. So this is the actual, the Ikea fat, um, box. What are the Drona. Uh, I don't know how you say that properly, D-R-O-N-A. So all I do is I get a piece of fabric. I'll unpin this really fast and show you what I do. I just fold over the top so the top is actually a fold. And then with the box, go back a little bit, I just take the fabric, line up that folded edge with the very top of the box, wrap it around the sides, and then I just pin, pin each side down. I'll just stick a pin in, pin it right into the fabric of this box. I try not to go into the cardboard part or the whatever the, whatever the fiber board or whatever it is. It's not fiber board either. It's like a plastic board. And I just pin it to the side. And then I have excess hanging off the bottoms. So I just tuck it. I just fold the sides under. And then the front, I just tuck under just like that and then slide them in and I don't get into the drawers often so it's not you know I'm not fussing with the fabric all the time so I just wanted to show how I did that I'll move that out of the way because it's kind of obnoxious um, so that's how I cover my my drawers I just started doing that in October and the only reason I did is the the I call them drawers they're boxes the boxes are red and blue, which normally work with the room just fine, except for when I decorate for holiday theme. And I put up my Halloween decorations and I'm like, this red and blue does not match. What do I do? And I'm <laughs> sitting there going, what do I do? Maybe I should take out the boxes, blah, blah, blah. And then I look at the fabrics and I'm like, hello, you have a bazillion pieces of fabric. Just wrap it around the front of the box. Um, and thus began 
decorating the boxes for the different seasons. And I don't really decorate for seasons too much anymore because like seasons is for me is October, Halloween, and then of course Christmas. I'm not a huge Christmas decorator. I tried really hard this year, but because Callie came over, I put up all the Christmas decorations. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I did fall this year. And so now that the new year's coming, I don't know what I'm going to do. What do you have in your mouth? Okay. Nothing. I have to watch the dogs. I'm really careful now about making sure I don't drop pins or thread and they still, they still find them. Yesterday I found Cooper with two pins in his mouth and I'm like, what are you doing? I'm freaking out. So now I'm like taking a magnet over my carpet, making sure I don't leave pins around at all. I don't even know where it came from, but anyway. Okay. So that answers that question. Um, all right. So I'm going to read Saturday's quote and then we're going to do the giveaways. Then I'm going to talk about what I'm going to work on next week. And then I'll read Sunday's quote and close out the video. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Saturday, December 12th, give in to the magic. Give yourself permission to pay more attention to the birds chirping. Eat the marshmallows out of the cereal box without judging yourself. Look for the rainbows after a storm and then take a picture of them for positivity. No, for posterity and positivity. Feel the cool breeze on a hot day and say thank you. Enjoy a glass of wine in the afternoon. Savor each solitary moment of this life. They are all you have. Okay, so I have a couple of old giveaways to mention. Um, let's see. Uh, Morgan Begley, you won this uh, like two weeks ago. So this is the last time I'm going to announce that you're the winner for this. Please send me an email, things at gmail.com with your address, and I will get this sent out in the mail to you. Uh, but next, uh, you have until this coming Saturday. And then after that, I'm going to draw a new winner for that chart. Um, and then last week, let's see, Rachel Combs, you won Christmas delivery, uh, by Twin Peak Primitives. So if you will please send me an email as well with your address, I can get your chart out in the mail to you. And then this week, um, I'm going to be drawing the winner for the Lizzie Kate pets Pets do Christmas chart. Cute little chart. Um, this only has the chart. It didn't come with the Just Another Button company buttons. So that'll be something you'll have to purchase separate or get just stitch them in, whatever. But you can see there's some little button lights there. And I think on the, yeah, the cat chart. And uh, you can look them up on Just Another Button company website jabco um and i think you can order from them or they'll let you know where you can purchase them probably one two three six too okay so i'm going to get the youtube comments from that last from the video with this there were 27 let's hit start <sighs> try to do it so i don't have to move the phone but i still had to move the phone tammy pew Tammy, you won. Oh, did I say your, right, your name right, Tammy? You'll have to tell me if I did or didn't um, so I don't get it wrong in the future. Uh, so Tammy, send me an email, christine.stitchallthethings at gmail.com. Congratulations on winning. Yay, I'm excited. Um, and then this week, we're going to do another Lizzie Kate chart. This is going to be the last of the holiday charts out of the Lori B box for the month of December. Um, after this week, then we're going into winter themes, so snowmans and stuff. I mean, Lori B has some great charts. Um, and by the way, happy Hanukkah. I'm so sorry I missed that yesterday. For those of you who celebrate Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah. Um, okay, so this is a Lizzie Kate snippet. It says, good night, Santa. I'm not sure if there's a button or anything that was supposed to come with this chart. I'm going to open it up. I don't think it's included. It's just the chart. I do believe. Yeah, just the chart. Um, and I'm looking, let me read really fast to see if there's any, uh, extra things. Um, oh, probably Santa's little buttons, which you can stitch. Yeah. 
they put two little buttons on Santa um, right there, but they're also charted as stitches. So uh, this will be uh, Lizzie Kate, A Good Night. This is uh, Santa from 2004. And all I'd like to know, I, whichever holiday you celebrate in the month of December, um, all I want to know is do you have a particular tradition for whatever holiday? Um, for for me, what I when I when the kids were here um, on Christmas Eve, we I'd like to um, make us hot chocolate and we drive around and look at all the lights on the houses and stuff. But now the kids aren't here. Um, and my other tradition was fresh homemade cinnamon rolls using on allrecipes.com. There's a recipe. It's called Clone of a Cinnabon. Amazing. Except I don't do the cream cheese frosting because I don't like cream cheese frosting. It's really, really too rich for me. <laughs> the dogs are trying to eat their, their uh, handkerchiefs. I might have to take those off right away. Um, come here. Come here. Come on. Let me take that off. Uh, anyway, so I make a, I make a glaze recipe and put that on instead. I'll put, I'll put the link to the recipe below and then I'll put my glaze, um, my glaze recipe too, in case some of you don't like that cream cheese frosting. But it's an amazing cinnamon roll recipe. My kids love it. Um, and then I made it when Callie came for Thanksgiving and the mister was kind of whiny that I don't make those kinds of things. Now that the kids are gone, well, hello. Like, you know, we spent a lot of time losing a lot of weight for a reason, but I'm gonna make him some this year. I'm gonna um, divide the recipe, and I'm gonna make the full recipe, but divide it into two separate things and freeze one and make the other. So he has fresh baked cinnamon rolls. That's my tradition. Okay, no, I just totally went off. So I wanna know what your tradition is. And if it's a recipe, would you leave a link? Or like the recipe in your comment because I'm all about that and I don't you know while we do Weight Watchers I've been doing at Weight Watchers instead of like specifically doing it like I should be lately but um, you know sometimes I like to try to tweak it and make it Weight Watcher friendly ish in some cases depending on the recipe okay so next week I'm still working on flowers of the holy night if you're bored with that I'm super sorry um, but it, I shouldn't apologize for that, right? I, I apologize for everything. For those of you who are new, it's a thing. I try to work on not apologizing, but that's that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to, I mean, it's December. I can keep working on Flowers of the Holy Night. And hopefully, um, I'm sorry, Whiskey has it. Whiskey, come here. I got, I got to show you this. I got to show you. He couldn't come to me because he <laughs> Oops. Um, I'm sorry. I looked over and he was had that over his eyes trying to get it off. Okay. Oh, that was too funny. I might have to stop the video and show the mister on video because that was hilarious. What was I talking about? Oh, next week. Flowers of the Holy Night for stitching. And um, the thing I was actually going to end up doing this past week and, and had plans changed because I made that bag was start the shine on block of the month from fat quarter shop. Um, I will only show the blocks that I finish on this video, quickly show them like this is what I did, but I will actually do separate videos for those of you who are multi craftual like me and candy. Um, and, uh, want to see some of the, the, um, sorry, the dog was chewing on something. I was like, what is it? He found an empty wrapping paper tube that I thought I threw away but did, obviously did not. For those of you who are multi craftual and would like to see like the quilt video of the, the shine on stuff and you know, as I do the block of the month, I, I'll have separate videos for you. Uh, I don't tag like the sew with me quilt videos as floss tube because those are not floss tube, the ones that are strictly quilting stuff. So only if you're interested in quilting or seeing the blocks for the shine on block of the month, these are the three blocks on the left hand side, I don't know if that's right hand side for you on your TV, um, that I'll, I'll be making. And so I've got my book, I've got this month's fabrics, 
got my backing fabric, I'm set to go. And the reason I need to do this is that quarter shop just charged me for month two. I haven't even started month, month one. Like I do not want to start off this block of the month behind, you know what I mean? So I'm going to be working on that. Oh, also I want to make sure to remember to let you know that I just put up a video of the Caterpillar Cross Stitch Made to Create kit and the needle minder. And if you might want to participate in this, uh, if you like the kit, a needle minder, like you really want to check out that video. You really, really do because this kit and the needle minder, it's not staying with me, you know, like, so go check out that other video. I should have a link to it up there. Um, uh, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, let me, I almost closed. Let me read Sundays. I'm so glad I remember. <laughs> Can you hear Cooper with the cardboard too? Okay. December 13th, Sunday, forgive yourself. You are human. Ease up on yourself. You're doing the best you can. Take a break, breathe deeply and forgive yourself for everything. Thank you so much for joining me today, indulging me and the dogs in this last, this last episode. Um, and I know a lot of this week I was a little, I pr probably seems frantic to some of you. For me, that's normal when I get busy or a project and a deadline. I just, lots of stuff fills my mind. I don't write things down as well as I should. And so I just kind of like blurred a lot of stuff out at once. So hopefully next week will be a little bit smoother. Uh, have a great day. Stitch all the things and I'll see you next time. Bye.